year 2050. India, a superpower, accounts for 25% of the total GDP of the nine developed nations in the world. Year 2025, Indians reach everywhere, be it services, manufacturing, research or consumer power, India leads the world in each of these. Year 2015, Microsoft shifts its worldwide headquarters to India. India becomes the financial hub of the world. Year 2010, every single Fortune 500 company has an operation in India. India, the future is here. Year 2007 Is this a fantasy or a realistic projection? Is it just a dream or an actionable vision? Are they images or do they have a solid story behind them? Let's look at the picture of India today. Let's explore the paradigm called India. Come, delve into the paradox called India. Is this the India that will transform itself? Are these the roads which will lead to it? Are these the people who will change it? Is this the infrastructure which will help it? Yes, these will. Because there is another India which is emerging which is developing, which is growing, which is coexisting with the India you know. But to appreciate this emerging India, to know its DNA, we need to go back a few centuries. Imagine a world without the digit zero. Think of a society which cannot count beyond nine. Imagine trying to go to the moon without zeros. While Armstrong walked on the moon, it was Arya Bhatta, an Indian, the inventor of zero, who took the first step. The father of surgery, Sushruta, was a part of this DNA. Takshashila, the first university in the world, was on this soil. We could go on and on, but there is no need, because the biggest testimony of all is reflected in what Albert Einstein said. We owe a lot to the Indians, who taught us how to count, without which no worthwhile scientific discovery could have been made. These DNAs have given rise to some great results. Not many know. The glitter, that's India. It's the largest consumer of gold. The strength, that's India. It's the largest producer of milk and tea in the world. The movement, that's India. It has the largest rail network in the world. The communication hub, that's India. It has the largest postal network in the world. The dreams of this country are developed by the movie industry, which produces the largest number of films in the world. It is frightening that it adds one Australia to itself every year. But then, its middle class is bigger than the population of the USA. Its youthful energy comes from 555 million people under the age of 25. The USA and the UK are two countries divided by the same language, English. But India is united by that very same language. It has the third biggest English-speaking workforce in the world. No wonder the world's largest English daily is not in the USA or the UK but in India. 
and its technological superiority is reflected in the fact that every third technical person in the world is an Indian. Fascinating facts about a country continent called India. In the 1990s, India opened its arms to the world from an era of seclusion and isolation. It has now paid off. Its reserves have swelled to nearly $200 billion, which is much more than its trade obligation. Only four other countries in the world have such high reserves. Foreign institutional investors have pumped in $75 billion into its buoyant and robust stock markets. Its GDP grew by 5.5% over 10 years and now has surged to 9.2% this year. On purchasing power parity, it is already the fifth largest economy and will be the third in another few decades. It has a high domestic saving of 25%. Its growing economic power is reflected in the fact that it has more billionaire citizens than any other country in Asia, including China and Japan. Overall, an economic powerhouse in the making. You must be wondering, what does all this mean to me? But the diamond industry didn't wonder. For years, much before the phrase BPO, or business process outsourcing was coined. It was doing precisely that. Nine out of ten precious stones were value added in India. So were 90 percent of all the pearls in the world. Today India is on the verge of becoming the largest service provider in the world. An outsourcing BPO giant. From call centers to tax returns. From software to medical transcriptions, from medical diagnosis to equity research, the outsourcing surge is activating the DNA fast and furious. Because of India's deep source of low-cost, high IQ, English-speaking brain power, the BPO industry will grow to approximately 100 billion dollars, employing 10 million by 2010 and accounting for 10% of the nation's GDP. Yes, the inventor of the zero is adding many more zeros to its achievements. But contrary to popular belief, it is not only the low cost which is giving these dramatic results, but also its knowledge base and its native ability of innovation and hard work. As Cisco's Shyman paraphrased it,